Welcome to our short demonstration on vSphere Integrated Containers. Now vSphere Integrated Containers can be downloaded as a tar gzipped file from uh, Bintray and once it's extracted you will get the appropriate binaries and ISO images for deploying Vic. To begin with we deploy a virtual container host and here's the command line that I'm using. Now there are some prerequisites because I'm deploying against a target, which is a vCenter server, I need to have a distributed port group. In this case, it's called Bridge DPG. I also need to specify an image data store. Um, I have a data store, which is an NFS data store that I'm going to use for that. The compute resource here is a cluster object in the vCenter inventory. And my external network is VMNW51. So if I hit return, you can see that it's going ahead and rolling out my VCH, virtual container host. Uh, you can see there's a whole bunch of prereqs. You can see the, uh, the ISO images being uploaded to my image repository. And then my VCH is deployed. And now I'm waiting for DHCP to provide me with appropriate IP information. And so there we go. And so now, as far as a developer is concerned, I am just running against a Docker API endpoint. You can see that here. And so let's have a look and see what's happened in vCenter. So let me just refresh this. And if I have a look here, I can see that against the management cluster, which only has a single host at the moment, I have my resource pool called virtual container host. And I also have my appliance, which is called virtual container host as well. And you can see that it's attached to the external network here, but it's also attached to the bridge DPG, which is the container communication uh, network. Okay, so let's go ahead and deploy my very first container. I'm gonna make it a very simple one, which is BusyBox. Great, so BusyBox has been deployed. Let's have a look at networking. And you can see here that there's a default IP address, or there's a default range of IPs that we use in VCH. It's the 172.16 network. And if I also have a look at my default gateway, you can see it's also on 172.16. And the final thing to look at is the DNS of this container and you can see it's the same as the gateway. Okay, so now just popping back once more to the center server. Let's give it one more refresh. And there we can see the container as a VM in vSphere. And you can see it's attached to the bridge network. And so that completes a very brief introductory demonstration of vSphere integrated containers.